In the world of sports, there are many different body types that come with every individual activity. Some might be a lot bigger than others, some might be a lot leaner than nice. others, and the difference between athletic body types is astonishing. Overall, this depends on your sports dependence on one of the three attributes of athleticism. These being strength, endurance, and speed. Today, I'm going to cover these three attributes of athleticism how to increase them, why they are important, and why they matter at all. First is strength. Strength can be divided into two main topics. Strength Bruh. and power. Strength and power are often mistaken for each other, but there's a main difference. Strength is the maximum amount of force you can generate, while power is the maximum amount of force you can generate in a certain time frame. Overall, strength is like a bench press or power lifters, while power is like a kick or MMA fighters, and specifically striking. Power and strength are oftentimes assumed to be unnecessary for athletes. However, explosive strength and power is absolutely necessary. Increasing strength and power can stabilize and increase your core strength, Bruh. strengthen joints, increase durability and bone density, increase coordination, prevents injuries, and so much more. Having increased strength or just being bigger in general will sometimes even make up for a lack of skill. So how do you achieve strength and power? To achieve power, you first must achieve strength. Power is a component of strength. So if you have low strength, you will have low power. To develop your strength, you need to do some sort of resistance training. The most popular is weight training or the weight room. When you're training like an athlete in the weight room, you can increase coordination and athletic performance by putting on functional muscle. This will make you too fast for the big guys, yet too powerful and strong for the small guys. Some forms of athletic exercises are power cleans, snatches, quarter squats, full depth squats, box jumps, and just so many more. Doing some sort of resistance training will allow your muscles to train effectively and develop durability, strength, and power, allowing you to improve athletic performance even further. The second topic or the second attribute is endurance. By endurance, I'm talking about your aerobic or cardiovascular health. This is like running a mile without gassing out. Endurance is pretty self-explanatory. It's very important. Who cares how strong you are if you can't last a single round? In short, cardio, your cardiovascular system is your body's ability to carry oxygen via red blood cells to your muscle groups when they're performing. If you have bad heart health or bad cardiovascular health, you gas out completely very easily. No matter what skill level you have, your skill cannot cover up for a lack of cardiovascular health. So to improve cardio, you need to be doing one of these two things. Steady state cardio, like running, or high intensity interval training, like sprinting or HIIT workouts. Walking won't work. To improve cardio, you must push your heart and your cardiovascular system to its limits. For example, if you're running and you can't keep up anymore, try running at least 10 more seconds. By pushing your body, you'll be able to improve your cardiovascular system. Walking doesn't do this. Walking, you're not pushing your heart to its fullest potential. Walking is great as an exercise for weight loss because it burns cardio and it's an easy exercise. But to improve endurance, you must be doing the hard exercises. Some examples are just jogging, stairmasters, or any sort of cardio like jump rope will work. Now thirdly is speed. Definitely, speed is pretty much self-explanatory. However, there are three subcategories of speed that I want to talk about. Your agility, acceleration, and your top speed. Your acceleration is your body's ability to get into top speed from a standing position or a still position. Agility is your body's ability to move directions quickly. And top speed is top speed. The best way to train for acceleration and top speed is plyometrics. Plyometrics, by doing plyometrics, you are recruiting muscle fibers and training your CNS system to recruit muscle fibers in order to perform these athletic tasks. Thus, you'll be able to accelerate and get to your top speed much quickly and efficiently and faster. To train for agility, plyometrics can help. But the best way to do it is through agility footwork drills. The best example is an agility ladder. This is used in many sports, boxing, martial arts. Agility 
ladders, or other agility footwork exercises allow your body to improve its coordination and allow it to train to move into different directions at once. In conclusion, no matter the sports or the athletes, one or even two or even all three attributes of athleticism are incorporated. Though athletes come in different sizes and shapes, these three attributes of athleticism is what makes a top athlete. To generate explosive force in a short amount of time, you need to be training your strength and power through resistance training. To improve endurance and last the entire game, you need to be doing some sort of cardiovascular activity, steady state cardio or high intensity interval training cardio that will push you to your limits. To increase your top speed, agility and acceleration, do some sort of speed footwork exercises, agility ladder exercises, and plyometrics. I hope this video helps you. Please subscribe. I'm a small YouTuber. If I don't hit 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year, I will detonate this channel.